All right, we're going to walk through how to set up Netflix and streaming services on your Steam Deck. So I'm logged into my Steam Deck. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Menu, and I'm going to get to go to Power, and the goal here is to get to the Desktop mode, so you can switch to Desktop. Uh, one assumption here is that you have set up uh, Emu Deck. It comes ready to roll right there. If you have not set this up, um, I have another video to show how to do that. And it's really for emulators, but it also takes care of streaming services too. So when you log on to Emu Deck, you're going to go down to Cloud Services. And you're going to then select Manage Cloud Services and then hit Select. I'll be honest with you, I'm not a big fan of this interface. I think there's a lot of things that are kind of janky here, but uh, this seems to be somewhat straightforward. So we're going to go to, I'll click Netflix. I'm also going to do HBO Max. Uh, this part is simple. Uh, what gets a little confusing is afterwards. So that's what I think is more important. So uh, if we selected those, you could select any of the services that you uh, subscribe to. You can click OK. You're going to quit out of here. It's going to say, hey, by the way, you're going to use Steam ROM Manager to basically get those services to the Steam Deck. That's the part I don't really like, but we're going to go roll with it. So hit OK. We're going to close out of this. So we'll quit this. And if you're familiar with Emu Deck and ROMs and emulators, you'll know where we're going here. But you have to go up to um, the ROM Manager, Steam ROM Manager. And this is how you basically add those services to the Steam Deck interface. So it's going to open another window. So you say, OK, yes. And here's the catch. You're going to see these parsers. I don't like how this looks. I don't like what they're, how they're called that. But either way, the key thing is there's all these emulators. And you want to make sure that cloud service is, is enabled. And that means uh, if it's white, it's enabled. So click on that. OK. Second thing is um, that alone is not going to do anything. we got to go to. Add games, and uh, by default, you'll just see the emulators that I have here. So we're going to hit refresh, and this does work well. I just don't like the naming and the interface. I guess now we can see HBO Max, Netflix, but it's still not. It's just showing there, but we want to get it to our Steam Deck. You have to click Save to Steam down at the bottom. OK, all right, that's good. Now we're going to go back. And then we're going to see if we see it. And we can tell that by going to View Games. We go View Games. I've got a list of all the games and emulators that are on my Steam Deck. It's not listed here. Hit Refresh Games, and hopefully you will see it. So it does work really well. Um, it's it just I don't like. Uh, the, the the steps here, it's confusing. So I hit refresh games, and now you can see I got HBO Max and Netflix is listed too. So at this point, I can go back, I can close all these things, and I can go back to uh, gaming mode, which is my you know main Steam Deck interface. So at the top there, there's a nice shortcut, return to gaming mode, click on that. Now just go to your library. Let's see, I got a bunch of games things, and go up to the top non-Steam, on Steam, and you should see Netflix and HBO. Click on that. There's some things here. Don't really worry about settings. Just hit play, and it's going to bring you to the login. And I'll go do sign in, and I am good to go at that point. I hope this helps. And good luck. Thanks.